Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi, can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening, everybody. Welcome once again. Okay, let's begin. Um, as usual, the first thing we're going to do today is attendance calling. Okay. Yes, this is the one. When you hear your name, please let me know. Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Are you here? Present teacher. Thank you. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Is Alicia Perez Gavidia here? Alicia Perez Gavidia. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Isaac Albonay Tobar. Isaac Albonay Tobar. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Brande Paz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Catherine Andreina Pérez Cruz. Catherine Andreina Pérez Cruz. Luis Alberto Aguilar Beltrán. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. María Magdalena Méndez Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marina Amaya de Mata. I'm here. Thank you. Marjorie Marilyn Martínez Grijalba. Present. Thank you. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. Present. Thank you. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Calling attendance again for those who haven't answered. Uh, Alicia Pérez Gavidia, are you here? Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present. Thank you. 
Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Tell me Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Idalia Margarita Garcia Cruz. Catherine Andreina Pérez Cruz. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Oscar Mauricio. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Okay. All right. We'll call the attendance at the end of the class once again. Everybody, welcome. This is English Pre Intermedio, Modulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is session 11, and today is June the 7th of 2023. Okay. So uh, let's do this. These are the object pronouns. Okay. This is a review. Aquí un repaso, nada más. Alicia Perez dice presente. Okay, welcome Alicia. So uh, remember, there are uh, two classifications of pronouns right here. You have subject pronouns and you have object pronouns, okay? So uh, subject pronoun I, object pronoun me. Subject pronoun we, object pronoun us. Subject pronoun you, object pronoun is also you. Subject pronoun he, the object pronoun is him. Okay, Luis Josué Valle dice, no puede ocupar su micrófono. Okay, le ponemos acá asistencia. Thank you. And Idalia dice presente. Asistencia. Thank you. Okay. Now, uh, again, for the subject pronoun he, the object pronoun is him. For the subject pronoun she, the object pronoun is her. And for the subject pronoun, they, the object pronoun is them. So how do you use them? Take a look. Fíjese bien acá. You have subject pronouns and object pronouns. You use subject pronouns at the beginning of the sentence, or we use subject pronouns before the verb. Ocupamos los subject pronouns antes del verbo principal. So you say, I know Sandra. We know Sandra. You know Sandra. He knows Sandra. She knows Sandra. They know Sandra. And what about the object pronoun? You use the object pronouns after the verb, después del verbo. So you say, Sandra knows me. Now, let's take a look at the sentences. I know Sandra and Sandra knows me. Yo conozco a Sandra y Sandra me conoce a mí. Okay? We say, we know Sandra, Sandra knows us. Conocemos a Sandra y Sandra nos conoce a nosotros. Okay? You know Sandra and Sandra knows you. Okay? Tú conoces a Sandra y Sandra te conoce a ti. He knows Sandra and Sandra knows him. Él conoce a Sandra y Sandra lo conoce a él. Sandra knows him. She knows Sandra and Sandra knows her. Ella conoce a Sandra y Sandra la conoce a ella. Her. They know Sandra and Sandra knows them. Ellos conocen a Sandra y Sandra los conoce a ellos. Now look, the object pronoun is used after the verb. Se utiliza después del verbo y no antes. So Sandra knows me. Sandra knows us. Sandra knows you. Sandra knows him. Sandra knows her. Sandra knows them. Okay, those are the object pronouns. So this is a review. Now, for things, esta es la parte más complicada, okay, for things, the subject pronoun is it, 
the object pronoun is it also. You use it for singular nouns, okay? And also uncountable nouns. For example, she's looking at the dress and she says, it's nice. I like it. El primer it es un subject pronoun porque aparece antes del verb be. Y luego it, el segundo, es un object pronoun porque va después del verbo like. So it's nice. I like it. Dice, está bonito el vestido, ¿verdad? Me gusta. I like it. But what about this? When you have an object, I mean, uh, a material thing, and you have two or more, you have to use they as the subject pronoun and them as the object pronoun. For example, look at this man. He's holding shoes. Two shoes. That's plural. So you say, they are nice. I like them. Dice, me gustan. O sea, perdón, son, son, están chivos, ¿verdad? Están bonitos. They're nice. I like them. Dice, me gustan. Se refiere a los zapatos. Son dos. Así que, they are nice. I like them. Examples. I don't want this book. You can have it. I don't want these books. You can have them. Diane never drinks milk. She doesn't like it. No le gusta. And I never go to parties. I don't like them. Nunca voy a las fiestas. No me gusta. I don't like them. Them refers to the parties. Okay? So what's next? Remember, you use object pronouns after the verb. But also, we use object pronouns after a preposition. Prepositions like for, to, with, etc. And what is a preposition? Sorry, remember, a preposition is a word and almost always a very small, very common word that shows direction. For example, a letter to you. It shows location, that is place at the door, or time, by noon, or that introduces an object, for example, a basket of apples. Prepositions are typically followed by an object, or un object pronoun, ¿verdad? which can be a noun, as noon, a phrase, the door, or a pronoun, you. So uh, remember, we use object pronouns after a preposition. For example, this letter isn't for me, it's for you. You have the preposition for, por lo tanto, después de cada una de estas veces que aparece la preposition for, usted utiliza un object pronoun. This letter isn't for me, it's for you. Who is that woman? Why are you looking at her? At is a preposition, that's why you use her, an object pronoun. So why are you looking at her? We're going to the movies. Do you want to come with us? Okay, with is a preposition. Us is an object pronoun. ¿Quieres venir con nosotros? Do you want to come with us? Chat entries here. Noé Ezequiel is the present. Okay, Noé, welcome. Bienvenido. Okay, so the next one. Sue and Kevin are going to the movies. Do you want to go with them? ¿Quieres ir con ellos? Do you want to go with them? The next one is, where is the newspaper? You are sitting on it. Está sentado sobre él. So you have in, sorry, on. That's a preposition. Then you use it, the object pronoun. Acuérdense que los object pronouns, you y también it, son, se escriben igual que los subject pronouns, you, it. Ok. Así que cuidado con eso, ¿verdad? Ahora, que se escriban igual no quiere decir que sean la misma palabra. Si va antes del verbo, entonces es un subject pronoun. Si va después del verbo o después de una preposition, entonces va a ser un object pronoun. Puede que se escriba igual, pero gramaticalmente son dos cosas diferentes. So, uh, you also have this. Give it or give them to. Ok. So, you say, I need that book. Please give it to me. You have it of your pronoun after the verb give. 
And you have me, object pronoun, after the preposition to. Please give it to me. Por favor, dámelo. El libro, ¿verdad? Please give it to me. Robert needs these books. Okay. Can you give them to him, please? Se los puedes dar a él. So can you give them to him? You use the object pronoun them after the verb give. And also you use the object pronoun him after the preposition to. Okay. So that's it. That's the explanation. Do you have any questions about this? Esto es un repaso únicamente, pero necesito saber si tienen alguna consulta o duda. No questions? Marina Amaya. Sí. En el caso de la diapositiva anterior donde decía present sim question, en la imagen ahí correctamente. Yes. Tiene razón. Bueno. <laughs> Se me fue ahí el, el título equivocado. I apologize. Me disculpo. Miren. Lo hago a propósito para ver si están poniendo atención. No, mentira. Ok. Es un error genuino. Ok, so object pronouns. Thank you, Marina. Ok. Uh, Pero además correct. de eso, disculpe. Además Otra de cosa. Eso. Ajá, dígame. Sí. Este... Es en cuanto a la imagen otra, de donde otra está vez el, el diálogo. Ajá, dígame. Donde dice, it's nice, I like it. Uh -huh. Cuando va antes del verbo, el subject, eh, en el caso de it, siempre le vamos a agregar la S. No necesariamente, porque aquí es, it is nice. Le agregamos la S porque estamos ocupando el verb be. Pero si estamos ocupando otro verbo, entonces no. Por ejemplo, podemos decir. Ok. Decimos, por ejemplo, it's, que significa it is. Ok, vamos a ponerlo acá. It's nice. Ok. Pero podemos decir también. It looks nice. Se ve bien. Ok. It tastes good. Sabe bien. It smells uh, funny. Huele raro. Ok. It feels strange. Se siente extraño. Right. Así que no, no necesariamente. Solamente vamos a ocupar este apostrofe S si el verbo que sigue es el verb be. Pero si es otro verbo, entonces no. Bueno. Ok. You. You're welcome. Ok. So, no more questions. Ok, so we did this exercise. I don't know those girls. Do you know them? I don't know that man. Do you know him? I don't know those people. Do you know them? I don't know Dave's wife. Do you know her? I don't know Mr. Vasquez. Do you know him? I don't know Ross's parents. Do you know them? I don't know that woman in the black dress. Do you know her? I don't know the answer. Do you know it? And I don't know the rules. Do you know them? Okay. We did this exercise yesterday, so we're not going to repeat it. Also, we did this. They want to see me, but I don't want to see them. She wants to see him, but he doesn't want to see her. We want to see them, but they don't want to see us. He wants to see us, but we don't want to see him. They want to see her, but she doesn't want to see them. I want to see them, but they don't want to see me. You want to see her, but she doesn't want to see you. Okay, we completed this exercise yesterday. Now, this exercise, we didn't complete. Este ejercicio, verdad que este no lo hicimos. Quiero ver. Recuérdame bien acá, me parece que este... No, no lo hicimos. Okay. All right. So complete the sentences with subject pronouns or object pronouns. Now, very careful right here because you can you you may need a subject pronoun sometimes and some other occasions an object pronoun. ¿Cómo va a saber si va a necesitar un subject pronoun o un object pronoun? Ya sabemos. Si usted si está antes del verbo, entonces usted va a ocupar un subject pronoun. Pero si está después del verbo o después de una preposition, entonces va a utilizar un object pronoun. Okay, so what about number one? I need a volunteer who can tell me, please. 
Number one. Number one, number one, number one. Who knows the answer? Please. Marina Maya. Yeah. Who is that woman? Why are you looking at her? Why are you looking at her? Correct, because at is a preposition. Very good. Who is that woman? Why are you looking at her? Ahí la, la novia o la esposa celosa le está preguntando. Okay. So, number two. Who knows this one? Juan Antonio Brown, do you know that man? Yes, I work with him. Yes, I work with him. Correct. Okay, very good. Because with is a preposition. I work with him. Trabajo con él. The chat. Okay, Noé says him. Thank you, Noé. Uh, yeah. Number four. Okay, uh, el micrófono, acordémonos. Si no estamos participando, lo desactivamos, ¿verdad? Para que no se cuele el, el ruido de fondo. Okay, uh, number four. No, Please sorry, number it. three, number three, number three. Yeah. Who knows the answer? Olivia. Um, where are the tickets? I can't find it. Tickets is a plural noun. So I can find ah, them. Uh -huh. Where are the tickets? I can find them. Okay, correct. Very good. Where are the tickets? I can find them. Si solo fuera uno, entonces sí, I can find it. Pero como son varios, I can find them. Good. Thank you, uh, Olivia. Number four. Who knows? The answer, raise your hand, please. Isaac Albonai, Tobar. Mm, all right. Um, I can find my keys. We are... Mm. No, no, no. We are... I can find my keys. We are... Where are? We are you. Where are you? But you're looking for the keys. Está buscando las llaves. Entonces, I can't, yes. I can't find my keys. We are it. It if it's only one key, but keys is a plural noun. Okay, three so yeah, them. Where are them? Okay, well, close, then. close, but not yet. Todavía no, todavía no. Okay, let's see. Juan Antonio Brand wants to help us. The microphone, Juan. Uh, uh, sorry. Okay. okay. I can find my keys. Where are, where are, where are them to, right? Mm, them? Not, not exactly. No. Only them? No. Uh, not exactly. Pablo Josué. I can find my keys. Where are they? Where are they? Yes, correct. Y antes que me digan, teacher, pero está después del verbi. Entonces, ¿por qué vamos a ocupar they en vez de them? Fácil, porque ustedes si se recuerdan, ahí existe, ¿verdad? Vamos a quitar todo esto. Cuando usted está haciendo preguntas con el verbi, entonces tiene que cambiar el sujeto con el verbo. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, decimos, they are on the table. The keys, ¿ok? They are on the table. Pero si usted pregunta, entonces tiene que cambiar de lugar el verb be y el subject pronoun. Por esa razón, usted dice where, no decimos they are, sino que decimos where are they. Esa es la regla de las preguntas con el verb be. Entonces, en este caso, sí, va después del verbo, pero es el verb be, así que es especial. Ahí no le va a poner, ¿verdad? En este caso, un object pronoun, sino simplemente el subject pronoun. Estamos hablando de las llaves, así que, where are they? De la misma manera que decimos, por ejemplo, where is he, ¿verdad? Y no decimos, where is him. Y where is she, y no decimos, where is her, ¿verdad? Ok, so careful right there. 
So I can't find my keys. Where are they? Okay, what about number five? Ada Veronica. We're going out. You can come with us. We're going out. You can come with us. That is correct. Very good. We are going out. You can come with us. Very good. Number six. Thank you, Ada Veronica. Very good. Number six. Idalia Margarita. Uh, Mary likes music. She plays the piano. She Mary plays the piano. Okay. Mary likes music. She plays the piano. Correct. Okay. Subject pronoun she because it comes before the verb play in a new sentence. Very good, Idalia. Thank you very much. Number seven. Number seven. Ada Veronica. I don't like dogs. I am afraid of it. It, if, if it's only one dog, but in this case, they say dogs, okay. plural. I am afraid of you. Of me? Me tiene miedo, means I am afraid of you, me. Me. <laughs> Usted misma se tiene miedo. No, no. Okay, no problem. Estoy bromeando. I'm understanding. Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay, Delmi is going to help us. But thank you, Ada. Okay, Delmi, what do you have? Um, I don't like those. I afraid of them. I'm afraid of them. That is correct. Okay. Yeah. Les tengo miedo a ellos, verdad? I am afraid of uh -huh. them. O sea, los perros. So, uh, I don't like dogs. I'm afraid of them. Okay, good. Juan Antonio Grande Paz, number eight. I am, I am talking to you. Please listen to me. I am talking to you. Please listen to me. That is correct. Thank you, Juan Antonio Brand. That is correct. Maria Magdalena, number nine. What is where is Anne? I want to tell to to her. Where is Anne? I want to talk to her. Correct. Where is Anne? I want to talk to her. Great. Very good. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Number ten is a bit more difficult because you have to complete the sentence in two blank spaces. So, uh, number ten. Who knows? Quién sabe aquí? Number 10. Number 10. Juan Antonio Brand. My brother has a new job. He doesn't like it very much. Yes. My brother has a new job. He doesn't like it very much. He is a subject pronoun. It is an object pronoun. Okay. He doesn't like it very much. No le gusta mucho. Okay. Good. That is great. Next exercise. Vaya, ahora que van a utilizar? Van a utilizar. Voy a dar un ejemplo para que no nos confundamos mucho. I need that book. Can you give it to me? Can you give the book? Can you give it to me? Okay. Because I need the book. Así van a completar las, todas las demás. Sería give, luego el object pronoun, luego to, la preposition to, y luego el object pronoun. What about number two? He wants the key. Who wants to try it? Olivia Raquel. He wants the key. Can, can you give can you give it to him? Can you give it to him? That is correct. Okay. 
He wants the key. Can you give it to him? Very good. Now, uh, the next one. Ada Veronica. She wants the keys. Can you give it to her? Okay, but how many keys? One key or many keys? She wants the keys. It, is, is keys singular or plural? Plural. Okay, so she wants the keys. Can you? Give. Or. Give it to them. I don't know. Cómo no, cómo no, sí sabe. Vamos, vamos a llegar a la verdad juntos. Okay. No podemos decir la primera respuesta que me dio era can you give it to her? Okay, to her está bien porque se la va a dar a ella. Uh -huh. Pero luego estamos hablando de llaves. Si solo fuera una llave, como en la número dos, entonces sí sería it. Pero como son varias llaves, ya no podemos ocupar it. ¿Cuál vamos a utilizar? No. No idea. Uh -uh. Okay, no problem. Maria Magdalena. She wants the keys. Can you give me to hang them? Can you repeat it, please? Can you? Can you give me to them? Can you give me to them? Mm, no, sorry. It's 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 different. Let's see, Oscar. Uh, she wants to kiss. She wants the. She wants the kids. Mm -hmm. Can you give them to her? Can you give them to her? That yes. is correct. Yes. Can okay. you give them to her? Así es. Por qué es them? Porque se refiere a las llaves. Recordemos que. Veámoslo por acá. Okay. Recordemos que eh, cuando decimos it, that's a singular thing. Well, it is for things. Singular. Okay. They is for people, plural. And also for things, but in plural. Por lo tanto, si yo digo he, este es el equivalente de it, y su object pronoun, it, también, ¿verdad? Pero si yo digo keys, ya en plural, then you have, sería they, o su equivalente, them, en object pronoun, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces ahí, cuidado con esa parte. So, can you give them to her? Good. Thank you, everybody, for your participation. Number four, Marina Amaya. I need that letter. Can you can give it to me? Can you give it to me? That is correct. Okay, I need that letter. Can you give it to me? Good. Thank you, Marina. That's correct. Number five. Who knows? Number five. Olivia Raquel. They want the money. Can you give? Can you give? Can you give them? To you? Oh. Oh. They want the money. Can you give? Okay, can maybe. You... Oh, okay, okay. Olivia, can you? Can you give it to them? Can you give it to them? Correct. Okay. Can you give it? Can you give the money to them? Good. 
Can you give it to them? Very good. Thank you, Olivia. And number six, we need the photographs. Dalia, Margar Idalia, Margarita, I'm sorry. We need the photograph. Photograph. Photographs. Can you give them to us? Can you give them to us? That is correct. Okay, we need the photographs. Can you give them to us? Correct? Very good. Those are the object pronouns right there. And now we have to do knowledge check 4.4. This is yo-yo math, okay? Now, complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. This is the same exercise that you will find in the platform right here. Let me show you. Okay, it's loading. Just a moment. Uh, it never loads. Let's try again. Just give me a moment. No me quiero cargar la página. Bueno, como sea. Este sería el knowledge check 4.4, que es el mismo que está en la plataforma. ¿Verdad? So complete the conversations, then practice with our partner. Partner. Okay. So, what about the first conversation? Remember, we're resetting right now. It's present simple question. Sorry. Uh, yeah, present simple questions and also object pronouns. So, what about number one? Pablo Josué Cornejo. Sería do. Mm -hmm. Can you read the complete question? Do you like the science fiction movies? Do you like science fiction movies? Okay, and what will be the answer? No, I don't. No, I don't. And then? I don't like them very much. I don't like them very much. Correct. Te gustan las películas de ciencia ficción y el otro le dice no. No me gustan mucho. Okay, I don't like them very much. Good. Okay, nice. What about conversation two? Mm -hmm. What's that? Híjole, aquí solo, solo hay dos explicaciones, o nadie sabe o nadie quiere participar. <laughs> ok, Oscar, and then Juan Antonio Brand. So, Oscar, please, Oscar Alexander. Uh, does Jake and like, and does, does Jake and Lisa like uh, soap opera? Ok. But look, when you say Jake and Lisa, that's two people. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, can you use does with two people? Mm. Um, I don't know. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you for your participation. Juan Antonio Brand. Um, does Jake and Lisa soap operas? Like, like soap operas. Okay. Uh, pero ahí es, es lo mismo que nos dijo Oscar hace un momentito. Hay un problema ahí. Ok, sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Ok, no problem. Olivia Raquel. Do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? Do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? Yeah, that's correct. But why do? Por qué do? Fácil. Veamos. We say, do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? Son las telenovelas. Okay, so we need the auxiliary. But when you say, do Jake and Lisa, me zoom in. 
When we say, do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? Es el equivalente de decir, do they like soap operas? Por eso ocupamos do, porque cuando decimos Jake and Lisa, el, el sujeto automáticamente se vuelve plural, ya son dos personas. Así que they. ¿Cuándo podríamos ocupar das? Si solo fuera Jake o si solo fuera Lisa. Ahí sí de, decimos do or does, I'm sorry, Jake like soap operas. Si solo fuera Lisa, diríamos, ¿Does Lisa like soap operas? ¿Por qué? Porque al decir, ¿Does Jake? sería como decir, ¿Does he? Al decir, ¿Does Lisa? sería como, ¿Does she? Pero cuando decimos, ¿Do Jake and Lisa? se vuelve, ¿Do they? ¿Ok? Like soap operas. So, uh, keep that in mind. Ok, thank you. So, ¿Do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? What about the rest? Who can help me with the rest of the conversation? Juan Antonio Brand, then Oscar. I think Jake doesn't, but I don't know Lisa. Why okay. do? Uh -huh, but in the first one you have, I think Jake doesn't or does? Yep. No, doesn't. Doesn't. Uh, ¿Qué le hace pensar que, digamos, no le gusta las, <laughs> las telenovelas a Jake? No sé, me pareció. <laughs> okay. No sé. De hecho es, I think Jake does. Doesn't, I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, if this doesn't, this is correct. Wait, wait a second. This is in the platform. This oh, yeah, really? Really? Mm, this is the platform. I think Jake does, but I don't know about Lisa. Creo que en la plataforma sale así. Vamos a ver. Ajá, es cierto. <laughs> okay. Está así porque en la plataforma aparece así, pero si fuera... Eh, Digamos, lo más estándar sería decir, I think Jake uh, does. Como diciendo, creo que a Jake sí. Ok, but I don't know about Lisa, pero no sé a Lisa. Ok. Ok. Correct. You can say it in this case. Así aparece en la plataforma. Si usted le, pus, le pone das en la plataforma, se lo va a tomar mal. Ok. Así que póngale das en este caso. Vamos a hacer aquí una corrección, por cierto. Aprovechando. Por eso sale así. Um, let's see here. Vamos a poner acá. Doesn't. Pasó. Ok. Dijo que en vez de doesn't, does. Uh -huh. Pero en la plataforma aparece doesn't. Por eso es que le coloqué doesn't ahí. De hecho. No me acordaba. Ok, so... Ninguna de las dos acepta. ¿Mm? Ninguna de las dos acepta. Ninguna de las dos, en serio. Sí. Ni das ni dasen. Seguro que estamos poniendo un apóstrofe y no una, una, una tilde en vez del apóstrofe. No. Vamos a ver. Jake and Lisa likes soap operas. Doesn't. Vamos a ver si la acepta. Enviar. No, perdón, no era esa. <laughs> era esta de aquí abajo. Doesn't. A enviar. Mm -hmm. Sí la toma como correcta. Ajá. Sí, cuidado con el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Perdón, aquí puse donde no era. Ok, the apostrophe. Siempre el apóstrofe es la eh, que está a la par del, por lo menos en la, el teclado en distribución en español, eh, es el que está a la par del cero, la, los numéricos superiores. 
Uh -huh. Cualquier otro es una tilde y se lo va a tomar incorrecto. Doesn't. Ahí está. Ok. Pero, como les decía, normalmente aquí tendría que ser I think Jake does. Como diciendo, creo que a Jake sí. ¿Verdad? But I don't know about Lisa. Pero no sé. No sé Lisa. Ok. Por ahí Isaac nos pone ahí el, el apóstrofe. Para que lo copiemos. Ok. Uh, Juan Antonio Brown. Uh, can I complete it? Please. Why don't you ask her? Why don't you ask her? Correct. Okay, very good. Why don't you ask her? Thank you. Okay, number three. Number three. Who wants to try? Please raise your hand. Marjorie Marilyn. Uh, what kind of, of music do Noriko, Noriko and Ethan like? Yeah. What kind of music do Noriko and Ethan like? So it's like, what kind of music do they like? Okay. So um, they love classical music. Noriko really likes Yo Yo Ma, okay? And then you have the question, what is it? Idalia. What? What does he play? What does he play? Okay, you can say what does he play or what instrument does he play? Sería también, también estaría bien. Si usted dice what does he play or what instrument does he play? Very good, thank you Idalia. And the answer is the cello, okay? I have his new CD. And the last sentence, what is it? Maria Magdalena. Listen to it. Let's listen to it. Correct, okay, let's listen to it. Very good. Thank you for your participation, everybody. Let's continue. 8.46, we only have 14 minutes now. Okay, yeah, normally the answer will be thus. Okay, so lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán, se darán cuenta y usarán la entonación adecuada en las preguntas. Veamos por acá. Pronunciation, intonation in questions. Now look. Listen and practice. Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Okay, take a look. Please listen to this. Yes, no questions usually have rising intonation. Can you hear that? Pueden oírlo? Yeah. Okay, yes. thank you. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Okay, yeah, sure. UH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, look. Yes, no questions usually have rising, rising intonation. WH questions or information questions usually have falling intonation. It goes down. So the first one is a yes, no question. Do you like pop music? Look at that. Do you like pop music? Okay, the intonation goes up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it goes up. Do you like pop music? But then you have a WH question or information question. And the question is, what kind of music do you like? Now look, the intonation falls. What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? Y no decimos, what kind of music do you like? Okay, eso estaría mal. Sería, what kind of music do you like? So remember, yes, no questions, they have rising intonation. It goes up. Information questions, they have falling intonation. It goes down. All right, so practice these questions. I need a volunteer. Okay, necesito un voluntario. Para que lea la primera de la columna de la izquierda y la primera de la columna de la derecha. Y así. 
Tell me, Alexandra, please. Please read the two questions with your best pronunciation and the best intonation. Please. Um, do you like TV? Mm -hmm. Do you like TV? Rising intonation. And then? What program do you like? What programs do you like? Okay, what programs do you like? It goes down. Okay, thank you, Delmi. Very good. Marina Maya. Okay, the second uh, sentence in the on the column on the left and then the second sentence on the right. Please. Do you like music videos? Mm -hmm. Do you like music videos? The intonation goes up. And then... What do you like? What videos do you like? Okay, it, but, but it goes down this time. What videos do you like? Do you like? Okay. All right. Thank you, Marina. Very good. Marjorie, Berling, Martinez. Mira primer nombre con más, segundo nombre con más, el apellido con más también. Okay. So, ma, ma, ma. <laughs> Marjorie, mm -hmm. Marilyn, Martinez, Grijalva. Okay. So, um, the last ones. Do you play a musical instrument? Good. Do you play a musical instrument? You have rising intonation. And then? What musical instrument do you play? What musical instrument do you play? Do you play? It goes down. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for your participation. So that's pronunciation, intonation, in questions. Okay. Siempre recuerde, si es una yes, no question, entonces la entonación sube. Okay. Si es una information question, entonces la entonación baja al final, ¿verdad? Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay. There you go. Puede volver a repetir, teacher, por favor. Okay. Okay. Uh, so if you have yes, no questions, the intonation goes up. It has rising intonation. For example, do you like TV? Mm -hmm. Do you like music videos? Mm -hmm. Rising intonation. Do you play a musical instrument? Musical instrument. Mm -hmm. Okay, the intonation goes up, it rises. But when you have a uh, an information question or WH question, then the intonation goes down. It goes down. So you say, what programs do you like? Okay, mm, what programs do you like? What videos do you like? What musical instrument do you like? The intonation goes down when you have a WH question or information question. If it's a yes, no question, it goes up. Information question, it goes down. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so um, having said that, Animations, okay, sorry, I'm going to, okay. It's 8.51, so we're about to finish. Um, we still have some grammar right here, but. Okay. So, um, okay, we're gonna do the listing part. Okay, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a TV show where they have to pay attention to details about the contestants. En esta clase los participantes escucharán un programa de TV en donde deben poner atención a los detalles de los concursantes. That's lesson objective 4.7 in the platform. So let's continue. Listening, who is my date? Okay, listen to four people on a TV game show, three men, want to date, want to invite Linda on a date, okay? Cuatro hombres quieren invitar a Linda para una cita. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? So who's my date? Okay, we're gonna see. Bill, you have to pay attention. What kind of music does Bill like? He likes classical music. What kind of movies? Like me dice usted. What kind of TV programs, okay? Now the same with John, Tony, and Linda. You have to take notes, okay, and tell me what kind of music they like, the kind of movies that they like, and the kind of TV programs they like, okay? Necesito que anote ahí, ¿verdad? ¿Qué le gusta a quién? ¿Qué tipo de música le gusta a cada uno? ¿Qué tipo de 
película le gusta a cada uno y qué tipo de programas de televisión le gusta a cada uno. So I'm going to play the track twice. Please listen and take notes. Por favor, apunten ahí los detalles. Let's listen. Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Second time, and then we check answers. Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, so, um, okay, so we're going to check answers right here, uh, person by person. Okay, the first one is Bill. Okay, what kind of music does he like? He likes classical music. What about the kind of movie? Nos queda poco tiempo, así que podemos contestar sin levantar la mano. No hay problema. What kind of movies does Bill like? Classical. Classical. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one is, is, is difficult. Okay, movies? Thrillers. Thrillers. Thrillers, okay, very good. What about TV programs? News programs. News programs, okay. What about John? What kind of music does he like? Rock. Jazz. He likes jazz, okay. And what kind of movies does he like? Western. Western, okay, very good. Westerns. And what about TV programs? Talk shows. Talk, talk shows, okay, very good. What about Tony? What kind of music does he like? He likes rock music. 
Rock music. Okay, good. What about movies? What kind of movies does he like? Horror. He like horror film. Horror films. Okay, and what kind of TV programs does he like? Game shows. Game shows. Very good. Okay, what about Linda? What kind of music does she like? Pop, pop, music. pop music. Pop music, very good. What kind pop of music. movies does she like? Horror, horror films. films. Horror films. And what kind of TV programs does she like? She likes talk show, talk show, talk show, game show. Game show. Talk shows and game shows. Okay, yeah. Talk shows and game shows. Okay, very good. Ok, everybody, we're going to stop here. Por favor, todos, vayan trabajando en la plataforma, ya ven, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí están bien pendientes los administradores. Les recuerdan todo el tiempo, por favor, trabajemos en los ejercicios. Así que eh, no permitamos que se nos acumule. Acordémonos que ya mañana tiene que estar completa toda la sección número 4. Mañana la terminamos. Vamos a hacer unos ejercicios adicionales y un poquito de gramática adicional que nos queda ahí pendiente. Y luego ya la siguiente semana seguimos con la unidad o la sección número 5. So everybody, thank you very much and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Ah, eh, perdón. Antes que se me vaya una cuestioncita acá. Nada más. Katherine Andreina está por acá. Caterina Andreina está presente gracias eh, Luis Enrique Palma Luis Enrique Palma ok uh, Miguel Antonio Rodríguez creo que no está verdad Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque gracias Thank you. Present. Okay. Oscar Mauricio Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Pablo Josué Cornejo. Pablo Josué. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night.